Hi, I'm Amy from Skate Hub. Today we'll be talking about IHC compressions. There'll be two other videos like this. There'll be one about HIC and one about SCS. And we're going to try and make them as easy as possible if you can keep up with my voice. If you like this video, please like. And uh, if you want to see any more, subscribe. So in front of me, I've got a Blunt Envy Prodigy. This is an IHC complete. Um, I'm going to be talking about, obviously, if you want to change bits on it, make it your own, custom, but then I'm just going to show you what it looks like if you take it apart. I've also got a crisp here. This is going to be showing you the aluminium bars and they go on IHC scooters. I've got the new Claudius Vitesse behind me. This one's IHC as well. If you are making a custom scooter, you'll obviously need to buy a headset. Um, headsets generally come with two bearings, a top crowns race, and a lower crowns race. If you bought your fork, and that's an IHC fork, most of the time it will come with a top crowns race, and a shim, and a bolt. You wanna keep those, that is what you want. You don't want any of these. Don't use those because they're not gonna fit. I'll just demonstrate here. It's just gonna be moving around and you want a completely snug fit because you don't want that fork to be rattling. It will just make your bars rattle and it won't be dialed. Okay, so your bearings come shaped like a head tube. So it's easy peasy, you just wanna kind of, it's a bit like a jigsaw. You're gonna put the one at the bottom, I mean top, and then you want one at the bottom, like that and then they should fit snugly in there. And you wanna just get your fork and pop that in. Okay, so with some forks, if you are making a custom scooter, they'll be kind of like, get, have a lip in it already. This is basically your lower crowns race, but built into the fork already. Um, if you do have a headset and you find that this isn't built into the fork, the lower crowns race, which is the bigger one, the flatter one, pop that on and that should be absolutely fine. You can put this on as well, even if there is obviously already one built into the fork, because if it's scratching on the top of, on the bottom of the head tube, you don't want that happening. You'll be able to tell when you put tighten it all together, it will either not move or it will make the worst sound ever. So you can just pop one of those on. But we don't need that because this is complete. It's all done for us. Okay, so this is the top crowns race that will come with your scooter and you just wanna put that on top. So that goes bearing, then top crowns race, pop that on. And it needs to be right in there. Like a proper jigsaw all fitted in. Um, then shim. So some of the shims will be lipped up like that. You want that bit facing upwards. You don't want it facing downwards. I don't know what will happen, but don't do that. Pop that in. And then you've got your compression bolt and you have a compression cap as well. So the bolt generally goes in there. That sits on the top. And then you wanna do that as tight as possible. I wouldn't do it too much because if you're gonna do it too much, um, it can compress the headset bearings and it will make like a clicking sound. That clicking sound also comes from if your headset's really dirty as well and you haven't got one of these um, top caps on. <laughs> it's like a dust cover, yeah. It's like, yeah, basically, you're just gonna stop all the dirt going in there. You don't need to clean it as much. Obviously, dirt's gonna get into the bottom. So if you ride a lot outside, you wanna make sure that every kind of like month or two months, you take it apart lay it all out so you know how it goes back together, clean it with a cloth, don't use WD-40 because it doesn't work. It doesn't work, Dad. It's not gonna make it loose. It's just gonna rust and it's just gonna take all of the oils out of it and you wanna keep those all in there. So the only thing you wanna be taking off this is the dirt. And then you wanna put it all back together. Okay, let's backtrack towards the shim. So basically, if you get it tight enough, you don't wanna be able to undo it with your hand and then that will be absolutely fine. Top cap goes on and then I've got here, these are the original bars of it. So these are the Blunt Prodigy bars. These are standard, so as you can see, it's just gonna be a little bit smaller than your HOC model or anything like that. 
but then you've got the crisp bars which will also fit on here or aluminium bars and this is going to be bigger on the outside than it is in the middle so if you're going to make a custom scooter and you want to put aluminium bars on say your blunt envy prodigy or your anything that's ihc you want to be making sure that your clamp is going to fit on there because this original clamp is not going to fit on there you need a bigger one a hic one to make that work you can easily find this by typing in clamp with shim and then you just take the shim out and pop that on but yeah that's basically it easy peasy i hope that made sense if you have any questions please comment below and um, we will try and answer all of those for you obviously we have got a customer service line that you can always ring if you're having any trouble with this they'll advise you on what to do um, go on our website skatehut.co.uk um, go on our website it has the full range of products there'll be listings as well so you can go on the side you can put in IHC or you can put in aluminium I don't think there's a titanium one yet but hopefully that will go in uh, but yeah, I've been Amy. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.